Hey everyone, so without wasting any time today, today I want to discuss Kentucky basketball with a focal point on the style of offense that head coach John Calipari runs when the Cats see the floor. Now, I want to preface this by saying I am no means a basketball coach, a scout, or expert in any sense of the word. I am just an 18-year-old idiot who has followed the shifting demographics in college basketball over the recent years and have seen that Kentucky's offense has mostly been the same since about 2015, and I want to address that. Fans have become frustrated with this style, and the fact that they believe Calipari doesn't actually have any plays or that he can't draw up a play for his guys. Now, while it is true Coach Cal utilizes an older offensive style and doesn't have extremely complex offensive philosophies, it isn't necessarily true that he just rolls the ball out and doesn't actually coach. Let's see what he does. So first off, what kind of an offense does Coach Cal exactly run? Well, it's a dribble drive motion offense. What happens in a dribble drive motion offense? Well, most commonly it involves the point guard penetrating the defense, typically through a ball screen or even on their own, and making a play from there, whether it's kicking it out to the wing, a dump off to a big guy in the post, or another dude inside the arc. Essentially, it's making a play off of guard penetration. So I'm going to focus on the plays that were ran this year, some newer plays, mostly older plays that he stuck with throughout the course of his Kentucky career. Some have been after timeouts, some were on the fly, and even a free throw play which we haven't seen ran very often at UK. So let's start with this play against Gonzaga earlier in the year. Here it is. So this is a relatively newer play that I saw ran a few times by Kentucky throughout the season. In this play, you can see Cason Wallace brings the ball up the floor. It goes off to Damian Collins, and Antonio Reeves gets a touch, and he passes it back to Wallace, and, and Reeves vacates to the corner. Damian Collins then sets a smoke screen and promptly dives to the basket, making it seem like a potential lob play. At the same time, Lance Ware here is setting a pin-down screen that completely shakes C.J. Frederick open for a three, which he ends up airballing. Despite the end result, it generated a very good look from three that probably should have been made. It was a fairly solid and spread out play that was executed well until the shot went up. And now here's something a little bit interesting. In the event of a missed free throw, Coach Cal has a free throw play designed for Case and Wallace. So in this instance, Oscar misses the free throw, and while he is shooting the shot, Damian Collins is running to the opposite block to clear out space by dragging two of LSU's players away from the basket. One LSU player is blocking Oscar out, and the other is unable to keep up with Case and Wallace. The putback is made, but because Doug Shouse is an incompetent referee, the basket was ruled a foul on Wallace. Regardless, it's a concept that I don't believe we have really seen very often at UK before this year. I believe it was implemented because of how poor at free throw shooting Kentucky was to start the year, and it worked like a charm right here. So here is in the same game, LSU had capped off an 8-0 run, and Coach Cal called a timeout to settle the team down. He designed a play for a Jacob Toppin lob. They started in a very common box set, but there is a lot to unpack here in this set. So first off, Toppin comes from here to set a smoke screen and essentially then loop around to the basket. Kaysen runs to screen off Jacob's guy so Jacob can get free, and Antonio Reeves does the same for Kaysen's guy. Oscar clears KJ Williams away from the basket, and all of this screening frees up Jacob Toppin from Derek Fountain, and Toppin slams it in with a nice assist from Xavier Wheeler. We saw this a few times this past year, but this one in particular stood out to me because it came right after a timeout and it was in one of the most important points in the game. So this was the opening set play against Florida back in early February, and it was executed very, very well. Chris Livingston comes from the wing here and curls to receive the ball from Jacob Toppin on the other wing, and Toppin gets set to screen C.J. Frederick free. Chris dumps it off to Kaysen, who passes it to Oscar. Right after that, Big O sets a screen for C.J. Oscar dives to the hoop, and C.J. curls around, giving it off to Shiway for an easy slam. Unfortunately, Oscar's only highlight of this game was this very play, but it was a solid play regardless to start the game. So here's a play that is ran to get Chris Livingston a clear-cut shot towards the basket. Antonio Reeves clears his defender out while Jacob Toppin and Oscar Sibway set double screens to get Livingston free. Kaysen makes a nice pass and Chris executes the layup. Simple, yet effective after timeout play for Coach Cal. And this is easily the most common play for a three-point shot at Kentucky. This is called floppy action. In this specific instance, the camera angle makes it difficult to exactly see what is going on, but in floppy action, a shooting guard gets himself in the middle of the paint between the low blocks, while the two bigs center themselves on, 
in between the high and low blocks, usually a little bit further extended out. The guard can then choose to either go left or right and curl to the wing for a three after they make their cut, which should ideally be freed up by those screens on either side. It sees pretty good success for Coach Cal, but it's definitely an older play in the playbook. Jamal Murray, Tyler Hero, Kellen Grady, Antonio Reeves, and Emmanuel Quickly were all lethal after utilizing floppy action for Calipari. And here is another floppy action set ran against Providence, this time with Reeves vacating to the corner for extra space on the shot. And then last thing I have for you guys today, here is a newer principle called Zoom Action, which is essentially three-man game designed to initiate a multitude of offensive possibilities. This time, Jacob Toppin settles the team down after a very hectic flurry for the ball on an offensive rebound, and then he re relays a play out to the players that Coach Cal called. So here's what happens. Toppin gives the ball to Oscar, while Jacob darts to roughly the elbow to set a pin down screen to shake Antonio Reeves loose. Reeves comes to the ball, and as Sheboy hands it off, Sheboy sets a screen to again shake Antonio free, and from there he knocks down a wide open three. This is a very common set nowadays. Purdue and Michigan run this all the time. 